So I'm going to show you how you can import other SketchUp models into your SketchUp project. So here we've made this room, but what if we want to put things in the room? Sure, we could create SketchUp models right inside here, but sometimes it's difficult to model when you have those objects in a room. So a lot of times it's easier to model the objects beforehand in another file. That way you can keep them separate and reuse those files over and over again. But how do we get those files into our SketchUp model? First, make sure you have your SketchUp open and you have your room loaded where you want to put your objects. Then we can go to File, and then we will click Import. After you click Import, navigate to where your SketchUp file is, and then select the SketchUp file and click Import. Now I can place my pedestals on the ground. Now how you place the files that you import is important. If I have my cursor here, it's going to place them at the height of this top wall. I probably want these to be set on the ground, so I'm going to go ahead and place them on the ground here. And it says on face in the floor. And then I can see where they are, and you'll notice that it comes all in as a group. And I can move these around and edit them. I can even right click and explode. And then I can group these individually. So I can click this one and this one, make that a group, and then I can press M and I can move it along the axes. It's a good tip to try to move things on the axes. That way you're not making floating things. And then once again, I can make this into a group by pressing Command or Control G, press M to move, and I can place different things around my scene and I can make different iterations of my scene. Another tip that you can do when you're laying out an installation like this is once you have all the objects and you say, hmm, I like this one, you can go ahead and zoom out, select everything, press M for the Move tool, click, then tap Option or Alt, and then I can move the entire scene over here. So that way I don't lose this layout. And I have all these pieces over here. And then I can decide, hmm, I think I want this and this as a group, but I'm going to move this one over to the corner here. And then I think I want this one to be over here. And what if I wanted a lot of these? So then I could click Move, Option, drag it over here, and then click. And then I can type slash four, and it'll put four of them there. So I could see what that would look like. Or if I wanted to have a big maze or matrix, I could select all of these, press M, and then I could move, tap Alt or Option, come down this way, and then I can divide by five, and then I can see what a whole room of these would look like. And I can say, well, maybe in this version, I don't want this wooden one, so I can just delete that, delete this one. And now I have this scene, and maybe that's a better situation, and I want this one to be grouped together in the front. So now I have all of these, and it's a different scene that I want than the other one. And I don't want this one. And now I have what this would look like for an installation. So I can quickly then move all of these around, and I could very easily press M here, tap Option, and then make another one. So then I can make lots of different renderings and iterations without losing my work. So this is a great way to iterate and expand upon your ideas of what you're doing. And then you can export these for rendering in Blender or other software of your choice.